Sabah al Hir, which means good morning or good day to you wherever you are in the world. Today we are still in Morocco and we are in the town of Azila. This is day two of my Morocco tour. And we've just stopped for the morning uh, to walk around this cute little seaside town. Now, when you think about Morocco, you may not think about the beach. Uh, so we thought it would be really fun to stop and let everybody have a look at the sea. But also the reason that this town is a well-known spot for tourists to stop at is that they have decorated it with street art. So as we walk through town, you'll see that there are decorations and painting everywhere. Also, they paint in these beautiful colors, this kind of periwinkle and green. And it may look a little bit like Portugal or Spain, and that's because the city was founded in part by people from Spain and Portugal because we're right on the coast. And of course, Spain and Portugal are just up the way if you had a boat. That looks so much like Spain, doesn't it? So the traditional colors of this town of Azila are blue and white, as you can see. Uh, but up ahead, you can probably also see some art on the walls. So we're gonna take a little stroll up there and show you a few of the different pieces. People here in Morocco love to take pictures of doors. Look at how interesting all these doors are. The variety and the color. Everybody decorates their door a different way. Look at that beautiful little alleyway. Looks a little bit like Greece, maybe. Uh, Azila is, the, is up north. It's kind of in the direction of Tangier, and Tangier is the city that's just across uh, from Spain. So you can certainly see a Spanish influence in this part of Morocco. You can see it is absolutely completely tidy and clean here, uh, which has been the thing most people in my group have been exclaiming about how beautiful and clean it is here in Morocco. But this doorway here, you can see with all of the tiles, is the famous Instagram doorway. Lots and lots of people come here to get their shot, their photograph in this doorway, which I have to admit I did that too today. But you can see that these are really pretty tiles with blue and turquoise. And then as we go around the corner, you're going to see street art, different wall paintings. Now, every time I come here, they're a little different because you can see some of the plaster is cracking. So they, they change over time. This is one of my favorites here. It's been here a little while. This one is, I think, new, both of these ones. And then over here we have the elementary school. So they have art by the kids. One of the things that's so nice about Morocco is how photogenic it is. Look at just the beautiful peeling blue paint on the doorways. Everywhere you go in Morocco is just, I think, incredibly photogenic. This is a beautiful one. So it's pretty quiet here in Azila today because it is really the end of Ramadan, but still people are on vacation and visiting families and things like that. So quieter than it usually is because up ahead here, there are usually a bunch of different shops and those, some of the shops are open, but most of them are closed. Here's my favorite painting that I saw today. Really beautiful. And they utilize the window as part of their painting. Rug shops we're starting to see. Rugs are a little bit more traditional to buy in the south of Morocco, and that's where I take my group to the south. And a tower, which looks exactly like something you might find in Portugal. So Morocco is beautiful because it is a wonderful combination of east meets west or south meets north, I'm not real sure, um, but of Arab culture and in a lot of ways European culture as well. So as we continue on this trip, you'll get a little taste of all the different flavors of Morocco. Uh, so today we're heading to Chef Chouin, so I'll be back with you later today uh, from the Blue City. So hopefully you're having a good day wherever you are. We'll see you later.